Hello from Logical Machines. Uh, today's video is going to provide you with all the necessary information to introduce proper air pressure to your machine, as well as adjusting those components that require that air pressure. And those two components are the large way hopper or small way hopper door, and if your machine is so equipped, the dribble gate. Um, be sure that um, before doing any of this that your compressor is on. It's very important. We need to have the proper air. And regarding that, this is what you're going to find underneath your machine. Uh, what's involved is a dial, and this will tell you exactly how much air pressure is going into the machine. And these two items are your solenoids. One will activate the way hopper, the other will activate your dribble gate. It's important to note that depending upon which machine you have, if you're running an S4, then you will want your air pressure at 25 pounds, nothing more. If you're running a unit such as an S6, which we'll be showing you today, or an S7, you're going to want your pressure at 30 pounds, very important. The tooling required to do all the adjustments for any of the machines, they're all the same, is one little flat head screwdriver. It's very important that it is short in length because the area underneath the machine is very tight. But again, whether you're running an S4, S6, or S7, the adjustments for all of these are identical. So, the two areas that you'll be adjusting underneath, this is a smaller way hopper. The larger one is actually attached to this machine. They are the same. You may not be able to see what I'm adjusting underneath, so I've included this as kind of a visual. Each one of these, again, is with your flathead screwdriver. One will allow you to open the door quicker or slower, and the other one will be closing uh, slower or faster, depending upon the product that you're running. I wanted to show you that. It's important. Make sure that your air compressor is on before doing this as I am going to introduce the air to the nozzle. Let me do that now. Before you put your hose on that nozzle, just take one finger and close the hopper door. Don't apply too much pressure as that is the unit that weighs your product. It's a calibrated device. Now, by activating the solenoids underneath, which have two little tiny plungers on the bottom, you just press them with your finger, just right underneath the machine. One will activate the door, and one will activate your way hopper, and then the dribble gate on the top. And again, those two locations right here with your flathead screwdriver, you're just going to reach underneath the machine, adjust that, and then as you do, the upper and the lower will adjust how quickly the door opens and closes. Mm -hmm. Redo again the screwdriver. Yeah. See? Screwdriver here, twist, open and close that valve control, which will provide more or less pressure to the door, and the same with the upper. I know it's difficult to see, but that's why we have included the smaller standard hopper on the table. And again, just using your finger, depressing the red plunger on the solenoid, and the same for your dribble gate. Your dribble gate adjustment is here, another flow control, very simple. Again, it's just using the flathead screwdriver and your finger underneath to get the desired opening and closing. And again, depending upon the type of product you're running, you may want it to open sooner 
um, or you may want to slow it down. So those are the two areas that you want to adjust. Again, it's just very simple. Little tiny flathead screwdriver. That's all it takes. And if you have any questions regarding how to adjust that, you can always give us a call. And please, I would urge you that when you receive your manuals with your new machine, that you go ahead and read those and get yourself familiar with the product.